Hi, in this video, I'm gonna be redesigning this website here, Tweet Red, uh, Tweet Radar, sorry. I've been looking at a bunch on Product Hunt, trying to find one I wanted to redesign, and I think this one is the one I'm gonna go for today. Basically, this is a new series that I'm gonna be doing where I'm gonna be taking websites from Product Hunt and others that are new products coming out, and I'm gonna spend an hour trying to redesign it with a kind of a fresh look and feel to try and improve conversions, or that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of the end. Try and think of a ways that we can make it more, or have a higher conversion rate overall. It's gonna be an interesting uh, video for sure. I look forward to showing you the results. Just like, let's just break down the site here quickly. And then you're going to jump into a time lapse of me designing, and then we're going to do a review of both side by side and see what's best. So this is obviously an app that helps you kind of schedule tweets. I've had a little play here. It makes sense. Um, you can like schedule, use AI to create tweets. It's like a really cool product. I have no affiliation with this product whatsoever. Um, so if they do get in contact with me. Maybe I can't show this, but I am. They get like a 30 credit system where they can like kind of increase, like you know, pay. It's pretty cool. Um, I think it's a cool product. I looked at a couple others, this July site, but this seems pretty good. I think this tweet radar could do with a little bit of love. Um, so that's what we're gonna give it today. Let's have a little quick look. It's only a few sections. So we've got a features, it drops down to this with a slider, get started today, call to action, and you've got some testimonials. And then they can talk about their team. It looks like a remote team probably. And then they've got their pricing, frequently asked questions. And it's all connect with Twitter uh, watch video, get now, and it kind of pushes you to pricing. I'm not sure we should push them to pricing. I think maybe we just kind of try for free or try it with trial, get your 33 credits today, might be a better call to action, as that's what actually happens. A bit of a disconnect between the landing page and the product. The features are quite low down, quite hard to understand. Maybe I'll bring those higher up. This call to action is a waste of time. I think these can be higher up. I don't think they care about the team. Um, that can go. And pricing, I would even think about not even having on the page. Um, just kind of get them to try it and then they can go from there. And then the pricing kind of will be dictated here when they go to get their credits. Um, so looking at that, that's kind of the quick things I would do. Um, and then connect with Twitter. I'm not sure if I'd even do that. I'd kind of have one call to action and behind it is kind of like an onboarding process. Um, so that's kind of my two cents. Let's have, this is obviously on desktop. Let's have a quick look on mobile. So let's just jump this out of the way. Wow, okay. Yeah, this could definitely do with some love. Yeah, we can we can do a good job on this, guys, for sure. Um, it's not bad, to be fair. Like, I'm sure it does what it needs to do, but it's just doesn't do it quite for me. So I'm gonna jump into Figma. I'm gonna bring the site in, and then we're gonna we're gonna go from there. So yeah, let's do this thing. I'm excited. All right, so I've imported the design into Figma. Um, so I've got everything in mobile and desktop. I've got a 30 minute timer flow to start and I'm just gonna crack on and do this. I've got a few ideas. This is my first go at it, so I'm not really sure um, how it will go, but we'll see. Um, and also for you guys, if you're not here, if you're not, if you're new here, um, I'm actually a software engineer and I also run my own design subscription agency called Design Tide, which is a plug here, um, where we offer design as a, from a, as a subscription product. Um, which you can start and pause and kind of go you go as you like. So it's kind of it basically allows c companies and our clients to have a design resource without hiring a full-time designer. Um, and they're super happy about it. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. Link will be in the description. Um, but also second to that, if you have any other sites that you think I might be, might have a good go at doing on this series, please do let me know. Obviously this is episode one. I hope to have more episodes. So if you've got any sites that maybe it's your own site or maybe it's a site that you've come across and you think needs a bit of a redesign and a refresh, do let me know, hit me up in the comments and I'll give it a crack. And finally, please do subscribe if you find this interesting and wanna see more videos like this. So anyway, after that plug, let's jump into the design. It's gonna be sped up so you don't get bored, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try and keep the, the colors, the feel of it the same, the logo the same, just kind of reposition stuff, change some call to actions, change maybe the bit of a flow of the site. Um, but yeah, let's see how I get. Let's see how. Let's see how I get on. And um, all right, let's do this.
Okay, welcome back. The design is somewhat done. Please remember, I've only had a half an hour to do this, so take it with a pinch of salt. But I do think my designs would potentially improve conversion on the site um, and actually help kind of portray the product in a better way, in my opinion. Of course, they might have a different opinion. You might have a different opinion, but let me know what you think in the comments below. So just let's just go back through their website one final time. So again, we've got this top header, this section here, get started, testimonials, super RT, email pricing. Um, and then FAQs in the bottom footer. So it's pretty straightforward. I've only done desktop, ran out of time for mobile. I'm pretty sure it started mobile, but it doesn't matter. So let's start with my design here. Um, I've gone really simple, thinking less is more, bringing some more white in. Um, I think for these products, sometimes, you know, adding gradients and whatnot can kind of add a bit too much. And, you know, at the end of the day, we just want to portray the product in the most effective way possible. Grow your, grow your audience faster with a higher quality content. Not sold on that header. I just thought it worked a bit better than do you want to produce higher quality content on Twitter? Um, kind of telling them the, the, what the product does instead of asking what it could help with. So I think, and then changing the call to actions just to simply connect with Twitter. I think to be completely honest, I'm not sold on this either. I think maybe pushing them more to like some type of onboarding flow or so you create your account and then you connect with Twitter, or alternatively, the connect with Twitter could work because it just fires them straight into the product and then they can see value and then straight to that aha moment before then, okay, I wanna pay for this, et cetera, et cetera. So it depends on how you wanna do it and how they'd want to do it. So there's a couple of different options there. I think a screenshot of the product is always helpful. Um, I know they had a video here, so maybe having this kind of simple screenshot with maybe a watch demo above it, pop up a YouTube video explaining the product, I think would be pretty helpful. Um, and then bringing that unleashing. So this kind of subtitle underneath would be good. I'm not a huge fan of changing get now, connect with Twitter being the same. I think keep the call to actions, you know, similar. So it's kind of makes sense. Um, okay, so coming down, we've got then the features, which were here. And then another call to action banner. You know, get started today with 33 credits worth 50 pounds. I made that up, I'm not entirely sure what they're actually worth, but having some type of free bonus, I think is always useful when trying to get and entice someone to act, you know, act today. Um, also capitalization of these, not sure if that fits in with everything else, but it kind of works. And then another kind of screenshot of the product. With the screenshots of the products, I think having the actual product in use here would be a lot better. Cause I know if I were to actually put something in there, AI tweet and have it like starting to type out in a GIF, I think would work really nicely as well. Um, and then maybe transitioning into like adding it or scheduling it into the calendar, again, showing the product there um, and some of these like aha moment features. Coming down again, simply love is, you know, there's a bit of spacing not quite right here to be fair, but it's okay for th half an hour's work. Love from my users, why not join them? Um, and then you got some testimonials. I would get more testimonials. I'd make that kind of populate from Twitter if they can from like hashtag or just collate more testimonials from their users. Um, I think that would work really nicely. And then again, same call to action with the just get started with 33 credits. Um, credits, credits, I think that works quite nicely. And then coming down to frequently asked questions. I'm not sure if I should keep this in here. Where are they here? I think they're a bit dead. Um, I would change how this looked, but just for time purposes, threw them in. And then another call to action with the footer. No, I removed the pricing. Um, I think, you know, sometimes one, you just need to get the user into the product and then they get it. And then this, they see pricing um, is kind of what I said at the beginning, but maybe, you know, I suppose that pricing shouldn't be there, but part of me thinks you should always have a pricing page as well. So maybe that's a separate page and then it has a similar call to action. But again, that's out of the scope of this video, just trying to get some type of fresh design from here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty basic. I removed this team as well. If I'm a, you know, you maybe you throw the team in under here, you could just probably just, you know, throw that in here just before the call to action, that would work. Um, but again, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm really happy with how this design looks. I personally prefer my design, <laughs> obviously I would, but you know, maybe you guys prefer this design. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think would work better. Um, but yeah, that's my two cents and my half an hour design challenge. As I said again, I own a design description agency, uh, Design Tide, link will be in the description. Um, if you are a agency owner or if you are a you know small to medium sized business and you're looking for more design resources, Design Tide is the perfect solution for you. Pause, start, subscriptions, just get some design resources behind you um, to power your product and site. Yeah, and that pretty much covers it.
Now, please do remember, if you think of any websites that you think I could do in my next episode, do let me know in the comments below. I will check it out before shooting my next video. And again, if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. Um, otherwise, I will see you on my next video. Thanks.